everyone hope you're all okay i have a little something different to try today something i've never tried before um taken inspiration from dreamy little nails i think i told you about her a while ago but i, I brought this wire for the anxiety beady nail things that we did the other week um and it was mainly for this video today as well i was like oh i can I can do something else with those wires because I've seen this lady do them. And I know you've probably seen so many people do them by now. I'm a bit late to the show. But, you know, no time like the present. Um, and it's still an incredible design. So I definitely, definitely wanted to do it. And after doing it, I have so many more ideas. And I'm so excited. It is my favourite thing I've ever, ever done, I think. So I'm taking a whole chunk of this wire. And I'm just using, I should have got my wire cutters, um, but I'm just using the some old cuticle clippers. And then from that whole long piece of wire, I'm chopping off bits that are about two inches long, inch and a half, two inches long. Um, yeah, cuticle cutters are a bit blunt by the looks. <laughs> Definitely should have got the wire cutters out. So I did five pieces and you will see how tricky it was for me i don't know whether other people found this difficult but watching dreamy little nails video she makes it look so stinking easy um she is obviously such a true true artist and she's had a lot of practice with this plus i feel like my hands just wouldn't grip very well at all um on the day that i did this and it took me about two hours give or take i did stop a few times and um, so i've grabbed some tweezers that you don't actually need because they're pointless worthless i've grabbed a, to a dotting tool any kind of brush that is you know like a handle that is nice and cylindrical that will work just it needs to be quite thin I could have got away with being a bit thinner, a thinner, a thinner, syn, syn, thinner, syndral, cylinder. <laughs> oh my god, a thinner cylinder. Is that right? Just the thickness of the brush handle. It could have been thinner. <laughs> so you want to wrap it round, um, and then get those two ends and give them a twist. And then she uses like the pointy tweezers to make kind of like a love heart petal shape but i didn't like how it looked for me so i thought oh i'll just stick the dotting tool back in and make it round again but that's not how it works it just doesn't once you've bent it that's it really um so i kind of molded it into like a daisy leaf a daisy petal shape and I was like, oh, maybe I do like it, um, like a love heart. So I tried it again <laughs> and I really don't, I don't like it as a love heart shape. So yeah, it took, it's a trial and error, a lot of trial and error. Um, that was a perfect circle. And again, look at me. I'm like, let's turn it back into a love heart shape. I don't like it. I do like it. I just can't do it. <laughs> I can't make it look good. So eventually we went with like I said, that daisy petal shape, like a standard flower petal, elongated, rounded at the top. Um, I kind of got the hang of twisting those those uh, pieces together, the ends together. Um, yeah, my hands just weren't working very well. I don't know why. But in the end, we got there. I had to make a lot more petals than I thought I would have. So at first I was like, we'll just make five. And then I was like, oh, maybe I need to make another five. I ended up making 15, 15 petals. So if you are going to try anything like this, just be prepared to spend a little bit of time making the petals. So now she, in the original video, she used resin, clear resin um, that cures in a UV lamp. So I thought, oh, well, we'll use just a thick hard gel. So I grabbed some blue sky hard gel. Um, and I thought, well, this is going to be perfect. And it is not. I think it needs to be thinner. My solution was, or my questioning about it was, 
you know, like bubble mixture. If it's too thin, it's not going to make the, the cover on the wand. If it's too thick, it's, it's not going to either. So we tried a little bit of base gel. I highly recommend using top gel, top coat gel, just so that after you've got no sticky inhibition layer. But can you see, I try and be really quick once I know that it's on there. So I don't know if you can see. Oh, yeah, you didn't see. But as quick as you can, get it in the lamp. As soon as you know that it's on, like the wand on the petal, get it in the lamp. But yeah, a thinner consistency. Don't try and use hard gel or builder gel. I don't think builder gel will work either. A nice thin I used Model 1's top coat and base coat for these. Like I said, definitely try the top coat so that you haven't got that sticky inhibition layer after. And then this one had a little bit of a hole in it. So sad. So I thought instead of redoing the whole thing, maybe I can try and fix it, fill in that hole. And it worked. See, like looking at the flower nail now, I can't tell which one that I had to fix. So that's good. So I've taken Born Pretty uh, CG025 and I'm going to mix a little bit of that with some base coat or top coat. Again, use a top coat. You haven't got that sticky inhibition layer. I wanted it to kind of be translucent so you could see through so that the petal wasn't like a pure solid colour. Um, and I concentrated more of that colour at the... Like at the base of the petal and then I used a bit of base coat or top coat to blend so it's more translucent at the tip of the petal and then we're going to use the cuticle cutters to get as close to the base of that petal as possible you can go really really high up uh, because we've twisted it and because we have dipped it cured it it's nice and strong now so you can get right up to the base of that petal so to secure them on, I've just used the little pot of my cart rhinestone glue gel. I wanted something that I knew was going to be super secure. And I've got that little flash curey beetles thing that we got from the nail tips kit. And I'm just going to hold them in place with the tweezers just while it cures. I'm only giving it like 10 to 20 seconds and then I'll put it in the big lamp. But this was the point. Like up until this point, I didn't think I needed any more petals, but you do. So I ended up making five that are smaller and five that are bigger. The five that are smaller uh, are more opaque with the pink. And then the five that are bigger are going to be on the outside of the flower and they're more translucent. I highly recommend holding onto the petal when you are chopping the rest of the wire off. You will see why. In just a second. I think it's this one. Yeah, gone. Lost it. Still haven't found it. It's been five days. <laughs> so I had to make a, a, a brand new one, another one. So yeah, same process. I'm going to stick the outside petals on using the McCart Rhinestone Glue Gel. Holding on to the tweezers, using the tweezers or the pliers just to hold it in place while it cures. And I actually loved just the whole like because it's wire and that uh gel polish is so thin like hold it all together at the very end you can bend and shape those petals because they're so secure at the base if you just gently bend them you can manipulate them ever so slightly to curl like the edge of the petal yeah i love it i love this idea and i definitely want to try and do Lots of different things like different flowers. Can you imagine like a tulip or a daffodil? Yes, I am so excited. And it doesn't even have to stop at flowers. There is so much you could do. Little fish, the underwater ideas. I'm thinking maybe if we make, um, I don't know how to describe the shape, but like the little sections, the little segments, of like a hot a hot air balloon, maybe, or some kind of stained glass thing. I don't know. The possibilities are endless. If you have any ideas, let me know, because I really want to play with this again. So the smaller petals, obviously, are going to go in the centre. Um, 
and when I'm looking at it, it's quite messy. Right in the centre, like you can see, obviously you see the nail um, in that little bit of hole. But I thought, well, a flower doesn't have a gaping hole, does it? So we're going to stick a load of um, caviar beads in the centre of it. So what I do for that um, is I just get a blob of top coat, put it in the centre. But look at that. This is, so now... This is where I'm going to manipulate them just slightly before we add the centre bits. But just you can just bend them ever so slightly to make it look more like a natural flower's position sort of thing, how the petals would naturally be. So I'm going to add a little bit of a drop, uh, little drop of top coat. Again, I'm just using the model one's top coat, and then I'm just going to fill that whole thing in <laughs> as much as I can. To hide all of that nastiness that I've created. Pop another blob of top coat on, give it a cure and you're done. Oh my gosh, I love this so, so much. Dreamy little nails, you are such a true artist, you are a genius. But I really hope you guys like this video and if you did, don't forget to hit like and subscribe and let me know what you thought. In the comments down below, everything I've used will be in the description box and I appreciate you all so much. Thank you so much for watching.